The dark sky filled with angry, swirling clouds reflected Greg Ridley's mood as he sat on the stoop of his building. His father's voice came to him again, first reading the letter the principal had sent to the house, then lecturing endlessly about his poor efforts in math. Well, I see two pieces of evidence about Greg Ridley here. The first one I see is where it says, the dark sky filled with angry, swirling clouds reflected Gregory's mood. So that tells me, I'm inferring, it says mood, and dark skies filled with angry, swirling clouds makes me feel kind of angry and muddled. So I'm going to, even though this really isn't a thought, I'm going to put it as a thought because it's kind of what he's thinking right now. So what I'm going to put here is a T for thought, and that makes me think that he's kind of an angry person because he's thinking, you know, his mood is angry and he's thinking angry. Then down below, it says, his father's voice came to him again, first reading the letter the principal had sent to the house, then lecturing endlessly about his poor efforts in math. So right there, his father's voice came to him, first reading the letter the principal had sent to the house, then lecturing endlessly about his poor efforts in math. I'm going to put for this one an E, because that's an effect that his father has on him. I'm thinking that the fact that a principal sent the letter to the house and his father in lectured endlessly about his poor efforts in math, that that's kind of contributing to him being an angry person. Okay, I'm going to continue on. I had to leave school when I was 13, his father had said. That's a year younger than you are now. If I'd had half the chances you have, I'd... Well, that's telling me a little bit about his father, that his, but it's not really telling me anything about Greg, so I'm going to keep reading. Greg sat in the small, pale green kitchen, listening, knowing the lecture would end with his father saying he couldn't play ball with the scorpions. Well, I noticed that it says Greg sat in the small, pale green kitchen, listening, and he's not really arguing with his father, so that kind of tells me something about Greg. I'm going to highlight Greg sat in this... Whoops, I'm going to... A race, if you can hold on with me for just a minute. I'm going to highlight then, Greg sat in the small green, pale green kitchen listening, knowing the lecture would end with his father, saying he couldn't play basketball with the scorpions. One thing that tells me is that he is respectful of adults because he's not arguing with his father and he's listening to his father. So here, I'm going to make that an action because that's what Greg is doing. And I'm going to remember that that means he's being, he's kind of a respectful to adults. He had asked his father the week before, and his father had said it depended on his next report card. It wasn't often the Scorpions took on new players, especially 14-year-olds, and this was a chance of a lifetime for Greg. Oh, wow. So because the Scorpions, I'm going to highlight that, because the Scorpions... Um, it wasn't often that they took on new players, especially 14-year-olds, and this was a chance of a lifetime for Greg. That's another one of those E's. It's an effect. And I'm going to put an E because that's an effect that that player has, and he, they're making it a chance of a lifetime for Greg, so it's, they're making him happy. He hadn't been allowed to play high school ball, which he'd really wanted to do, but playing for the community center team was the next best thing. Report cards were due in a week, and Greg had been hoping for the best. But the principal had ended the suspense early when she sent the letter saying Greg would probably fail math if he didn't spend more time studying. Oh, so I kind of see another action there. I'm going to highlight it. Greg would probably fail math if he didn't spend more time studying. And that's an action. And what that tells me about Greg, because he doesn't study probably as much as he should, that he's a little bit of a procrastinator, or maybe he could even be a dreamer because he really wants to play basketball. So I'm going to kind of have to read through the story and see if I can find more evidence of either a dreamer or an athlete. And you want to play basketball, his father's brows knitted over deep brown eyes. That must be some kind of a joke. Now you just get into your room and hit those books. Okay, I'm going to pause there, and I'm going to go back up and see if I can find anything about what the character says. 
And right now I don't see any quotes from Greg, so there's really nothing that he says yet that tell me anything or reveal anything about him. I have some thoughts. I have some effects that others have on him. I have some actions. Can I find anything that talks about what he looks like or anything about his personality? Not his personality, but anything about his physical traits. And I see something. If I go back into the text, I see he's a 14-year-old. So I'm going to highlight 14-year-old, and I'm going to put looks. And I think I don't see anything else about what Greg looks like that I can really use as evidence for the text. And I'm going to pause there, and we're going to have a discussion about what you notice I did as I was annotating this text.